Hi there. So in the previous video, what we did was um, design this first screen, and um, the next thing to do is to design the list screen. Um, it's, okay, when we click on that, you see, you see there's a flashing search HUD that basically came up. Um, I'm not gonna design that one in this video, but then I can just give you like a quick link to um, a component that you can actually use. It's open source. It's called MB Progress HUD. It's a very nice um, component. It looks like that. You know what? Let's look for images. It's probably easier to show that way. So if you implement this in your application, it's going to give you like a transparent, black transparent HUD, which you can use to show loading or search, searching um, information. And um, that's something that you can easily in in integrate into your apps. So, okay, we're going to skip that for now. And then the next step is to design this list screen. So for that, what we're going to do is um, do something similar to this, use this. So what we have is a greenish list element with a darker green separator. And then we have a title and a subtitle, which actually fits in well with our app in here. So we have a title, subtitle, and image on the side. And then what we also have here is a section header. So for the section header, um, I think the best thing to use is a dark green view. Let me try to look for it. I think it's going to be in here. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to use something similar to dark green in there for our section headers. Anyways, you'll see when we start working on it. So let's go into, let's dive into the code and then start working that. So we have our product view controller new, and that's where the magic is going to happen. <laughs> so we can go into our cell for row at index path method. This is where the cells are being created actually. Um, so before we do that, let me show you a couple of classes which I added to this. So I added a custom UI table view cell class called product list. So it's just a basically, it's basically a simple UI table view cell with uh, three components. So we're we have two labels, the title, the subtitle, and then the image view. And then we have a interface builder file that looks very similar to our list view there. So what we have here is the title here. We have the sub two labels and then the image. And then the image view on the background here has the list element.png as the image in there. So let's quickly take a look at that. I think it's in here. Info, yeah. List element of PNG. So that's how it's gonna look. So we have a greenish element, and then we have a dark green separator, which actually is part of the image. What I've also noticed is that the arrow is missing. So what we can do, actually, we can add that right now. So if I add a new image view in here. So that's supposed to be for the disclosure indicator, a green version of that. So if I drag that across, um, let's resize that. I think it's kind of very small. It's about 9 by 14. And then the, that's going to have a list arrow of PNG. So that's that. So let's drag that across to somewhere around there. Okay, so that's our list cell complete. And then of course what you do is on um, connect the files owner, which is in which in this case is no sorry, the file owner, yeah, for this one. The file owner is product list cell. It should be a product list cell, shouldn't it? Okay, no, sorry, the class of this is product list cell. And then when we connect the here let me see yeah that's it so we have the um outlets the ib outlets in here so we have the product image view we connect that to that we have the subtitle that's that and then we have the title itself and that's that so i think we're good to go so all we now need to do is to use that product list cell in our cell for row at index path method that's in the product view controller 
So of course I've done that previously. So let's uncomment what I've done previously. And then I'll walk you through what I did. It's not it's not magic, it's kind of easy basically. So what I've done here is uh DQ and oh my God, basically DQ a new product list so if it's there if it's not there we're gonna load that um load the view from the interface builder file which I showed you earlier that's this one so when we load that we're gonna have a, an array of views and then basically that um table view cell is the is the first element in the array so we cast that to our product list cell and then we have a new cell in there so now what we need to do is set the values that we need so things that we need to set are the title the subtitle and then the image view so we have the product image view which is always going to be drug the png and then the title for the drugs basically so we're gonna have that and then let's run that and then see how that looks now so if I search for ibuprofen again okay so now we have a messed up list cell and I know why that is that's because we haven't set the height of our cells so we can do that by using by setting by making using a new method or one of the one of the table view delegate methods I think that's called CG float and that's table view height for row at index path and in that case we'll return 67 I just know that it is 67 don't ask me how but I'm getting to attach these templates I guess click on search and then we have that that looks better doesn't it so we have a nice cell element for our for our products so what I've noticed is that we also need to change the header in here so to quickly do that we have another delegate method called view for header in section that's in here let's comment that so what this is going to do is going to return a custom view for each of the section headers and then just to show you how that looks we have a section header view which is simply a view with an image view in it and that image view has as its background the menu header.png which is that image which I showed you earlier that's basically this slice in here and then um, that header title we're gonna have the the text uh, sorry the letter for that section okay and then what we need to do which is actually an easy way kind of a hack to connect this title is to use tag so we have we select that if you see here I've given it a tag of one right and then later we're gonna use that tag to pull out this label and then customize the information in there so let's go back to our product view controller so we do the same thing we load the interface builder file using the load nib named method on the NS bundle section header view is the name of the view the interface builder file and then choose the view at the first I mean there's only going to be one in the array and then what we're going to now and then what we have here is the view with tag method so when we do view with tag um, one what we're going to get out of that is the label and then we can easily set the title of our label sorry set the text of our label using our section information and that's all we need to do for the um, to get a custom header so let's run that and see how that looks like let's type in our favorite drug again profit and then we have a nice custom header in there and then if you scroll down if you okay, well for in this case we have only i right but then if you had more we'll have different letters for that okay so what's next to do um, let's customize this back button to customize the back button all we need to do is go back to our app delegate and then add our menu bar back button 
Well, actually, we're adding more than that, but then it doesn't really matter. This is just a copy and paste Joey from the social view template. So you basically all you can do is just copy and paste, and then you're you're good to go. So what I've done is I've copied and pasted this text here. So what we do is we have a back.png, which is um, gives us a nice. Let's look for it. If you can find it, I think it's in the common folder. That's how it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna have that back.png. Let's go back to our product view controller new. I'm sorry, no, sorry, it's in the app delegate. And then using the appearance SDK, we set the background button for the back button image. And we're good to go. So let's run that. Give it a funny name. And then we have our new back button in there. So let's give it correct. So what's left to do, let's customize the, the tab bar as well. And the tab bar is, well actually Aria has used the toolbar, but we're going to use the same image for the tab bar in the toolbar. And then the good thing about it is, is that we can customize any toolbar in the whole app using this um, UI toolbar position any. That's in the UI toolbar appearance method. So if we run that now. We have ibuprofen. No, no. And then we have a nice grayish gradient for the bottom in there. So I think that's it. We have our two screens done. We have the main screen. We have the, the list screen. All using templates from App Design Vault. So the next step is going to design this um, detail screen here. And what you, what you notice is that since we did the tab bar and menu bar, all our um, buttons in the navigation bar has been customized. It was just with a couple of lines of code. So if you click on so that, we have the back button and the menu bar buttons as well. So the menu bar buttons use that image and the back button use that image. And that's it. All right. So. We're going to have one more video in this series for the World Drugs app, and that's going to be for that last screen which I showed you. But for now, if you have any questions, just let me know, and um, I'll get to it. Thank you for watching this.